As I continue to explore a couple more works by uh, The Plot in You, which I'm quickly developing an affection for in regards to the tunes I've covered thus far being, uh, in specific focus, Divide and Face Me, we now approach Paradigm, and I believe this track in particular has gotten a lot of attention. I don't remember exactly from where, maybe it's just in viewership, but I saw a lot of chatter about this particular tune, so I'm obviously enticed enough going in that there is some... Um, affection for this particular work. But so far in my early introduction, I am really impressed with the talent that I'm seeing in many respects, but I, I'm I'm quite attracted to, again, originality in regards to my playlist, especially when it comes to the metal scene. And having come off of Face Me just now, I mean, Met Divide was a great, like, set the scene and as a metalhead, I love the tone, aggressive metal, that's what I go for immediately, but Face Me was incredibly inventive. So this is on the same album as that, a swan song, this is a Paradigm, and again, like I said, I, I did see this track get some attention. I'm going to go ahead and cue up the video that we have to accompany said piece, and we can get a deeper appreciation for uh, this particular work. This should be a pretty interesting song to listen to, I mean, in terms of, as well, the intention behind the lyrics, you know, I like to get the... the um, intrinsic perspective of a song on multiple levels, not just in judging the uh, efficacy of the musical production, but also in judging the lyrical vision. And the song in itself is not about, it, well, I mean, I've heard about like celebrity worship addressed maybe in other types of music, but not specifically, I mean, the song feels particularly relevant, especially to our age where social influencing, and I do tend to not, even though maybe some would say, well, you fit into the space of that, I don't choose to adopt that moniker for me. I'm much more of an, like an occasional commentator. I don't, choose to regard myself under a social influencer label. I find it kind of tacky, to be honest with you. And I've never really been much for, you know, a a attributions of cliches, if I'm being honest. But the, the song is particularly interesting in the way it approaches the discussion, because I don't find many songs that have spoken to the uniqueness of social media influencers and perhaps the vacuousness of intention and motive in creating content. This is fascinating. We'll, we'll touch on more of the interpretation after, because I have a rough quote pulled up. Well, the quote itself is not rough, but maybe a summation of it. And I have the lyrics as well, so I'll be able to read along with the piece as we add a video to a first impression of the song. I do hope, like I said, for those of you who are approaching this uh, as an initial listen, I hope you experience the same uh, respect that I have for the plot in you as I first witnessed with the original two songs. Let's consult this one and see how it stacks up. Okay, I like the pacing here. Good introduction. Good metal introduction, frenetic, energetic, excitable, love it. Just like the uh, divide. I don't like these um, technological effects. They're interesting. They're very unique from what I've heard. Oh, I like that line. That's great. Wonderful first verse. The religious analogies are quite unique as well. Great application. Beautiful. Beautiful range on that screen. Great transitional verses. Fully effective, I love this. Another great listen. I love the incline to this, it just feels like it's more excitable as we hear the chorus, it's wonderful. Beautiful pacing. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. I didn't realize they doubled up at least in the global uh, structure on that. That's wonderful. I like these chaotic interludes. Wonderful. This is again, that the mood is so consistent over the song, it's wonderful. <laughs> the 
it does feel like that sometimes a bit late. It's a very relatable feeling as a content creator. I read this in some part, you know. It is an ambition to perhaps steer away from what they're talking about. And, I mean, I don't know if anybody can speak to the same, but... It's sometimes challenging. But when you're passionate about it, yeah, I completely see myself perhaps in the, the direction of this song. Even though I've never thought about it like this. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. It really is. Trademark element of the song right there. Wonderful energy. And again, as always, a wonderful tune to complement what I think is a very effective vision on that piece. Like I said, the, the statement in regards to a direct quote by the Frontman Landon Tours, I wrote Paradigm for another band in 2020. And what, I wonder what band this is written for. I kept coming back to it with my own vocal ideas and ultimately decided to keep it for myself. That makes sense. It, it's just wonderful. Paradigm is about the ridiculousness of worshiping artists and content creators, most of which don't care about the inf impact or message they bring. You know, I feel that. And right, that's a challenge. I've spoken before on this statement. It's part of the reason, again, I choose to not ascribe myself as a social media influencer. I don't, just, I don't like the term because of what it constitutes. I see the power in social media influencers, and that's certainly gotten big over the last couple of years. Let's say for certain networks, uh, YouTube maybe. I'm thinking more so on lines like TikTok and stuff like that. Half the stuff that I see, I do not have TikTok. I never want it. I mean, it's Chinese spyware number one. But I see a lot of the stuff that comes through TikTok, and some of it's fine. Some of it's you know totally innocuous, and other stuff is I would say toxic, especially when you watch the culture that exists these days in our larger world. I mean, I can't speak largely you know, on a global perspective, maybe to some respects, but I'll keep it specific to America. Half of what I see come from TikTok is so toxic in its production and influence, and I do worry about the state of our society, especially among our youth, in regards to what is necessarily being worshipped. You watch it for yourself and you're like, and even just not as an adult, but it's just somebody existing in the world where you want to turn back to when it seems morality and efficacy of life was not frowned on as much. And now it's become this popularity quiz. I mean, you can speak this even maybe in several respects like years back, right? Certain maybe I'd say internet challenges are a great example. Um, Let's pick a couple samples here. The cutting challenge, the COVID challenge. We'll gain fame through pub er, through self endangerment. I mean, it's sick. And the people, yeah, exactly. When I read the song, maybe this it, maybe that's not the intention they had and why they wrote the song in terms of that specific focus. But what they're describing in terms about worshiping content creators, most of which don't care about the impact or message they bring. Yeah, it's all about the fame. It's about the popularity. And that's a challenge for myself. You know, I've considered for many years in how I've evolved as a content creator and what I've done. I've always had the ambition and the understanding, and part of this is based on not just my Christian faith, and I'm very open about that, but also just as a personal individual, I don't want to put anybody in a position of risk. I mean, a lot of that is probably based on my faith, to be honest with you, because I, I keep in mind, I forget exactly where it is, as a content creator, I have to balance influence with ambition. The, the two have to be in marriage, and it's that Perspective, perspective of my audience and what I wish to entertain, and that idea that I will be doubly accountable. You wield some power in the way you influence others. That is a key trait, even if maybe you don't want to accept it. That is a, that is a facet of a social media content creator world. I totally understand what the artists are saying in regards to even just idol worship or celebrity worship. I mean, most of the people you follow, like, I've never said, you know, hey, I'll, I'll, it's for me, I've never been like, you know, hey, I'm a big fame junkie. I literally just care about, you know, being able to talk about how I feel and evaluate art. That's literally my key passion. And hey, you know, if people are into it, you know, great. If not, fine. It's not about, you know, for me, popularity or, the, you know, the surge of um, emotional elation upon, you know, oh, a follow. I, I, I suddenly am such a prestigious influence. No, you know, I just want to talk about how I feel, you know. Life matters to me especially even as a content creator, people matter. You know, that's something I do keep in perspective. And I do think in terms of the social media world, it is very easy to fall in the trap of fame. I mean, I get it. It's a temptation that might be, well, it's not really, eh, well, I don't know. Maybe again, I'm just such an anomaly that I'm rather unique. But, um, you know, I'd say for many, it's a temptation. And sometimes I see it, you know, it's a power, right? Having an independent voice like that and being emboldened in terms of social media landscape, it is a power to wield. And that can be either good or bad. And I see plenty of examples of bad and some good, you know? I'm not necessarily going to boast here and be like, ah, oh, I'm one of the two. You know, that's, I guess, a subjective evaluation. But for me, it's 
I, I completely understand maybe the risk again of not wanting to fall into the territory of just being a vapid, you know, content creator that shirks off responsibility of voice and influence. It matters to me. I mean, again, sometimes you find an oddity. Over times, you know, it tends to fall into the norm of, well, I see the cost to your fame, and it's not necessarily something that you're easy to recognize. I mean, I get it. It's a temptation, especially as, you know, the platform of self grows these days, right? And just even in the age we're in, the unbridled narcissism in itself can be quite toxic. It is a challenge, right? You have to balance perhaps, you know, who you are as a content creator without losing a sense of self-identity and your place in the world and what influence you have. I totally get the meaning. Again, like I said, in respect to the content creator direction, it's just not something I see explored that often. But I can certainly say, you know, we've had plenty of songs that have talked about idol worship, you know, to varying degrees. But in this, so in the modern respect, this is a very timely piece. And the structure is a very engaging rock tune, great vocals, beautiful range. And I love the, sh the, um, the shifts within the tone. When will they recognize that that end and they jeopardize morality? Oh, I, I, again, I love the way this is written. I, again, that verse really catches my eye. They follow religiously. What if they truly knew how much I led them astray and hardly look at you knowing your soul isn't save, or saved? I think that's great. Like, it's just such a beautiful articulation of the same you know, sentiment that I've had, maybe not in those words. Um, it, it's just wonderful, in my opinion. Great writing. Beautiful. The form of abuse. Yeah, that's interesting, too. They call it a form of abuse. Misleading influence. I, yeah, I would agree. Third track in thus far with uh, The Plot and You, and I quite like it. Very dynamic band. I've been impressed with them, at least in the short term. They're they're great. Let me know your thoughts down below, whatever angle you come from. You might be coming out of this as a long-time fan perspective, or perhaps for some of you, this is going to be a first-time listen. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on the track overall, should you choose to disclose them, of course, down below. I think, again, like I said, it's a very dynamic. Listen, wonderful scope on the music, beautiful lyrics as well to complement the piece. Beautiful all around, really, and I love the unique vision here. It's very well presented. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.